and salutations to my esteemed subscribers and strangers of the channel. I am, of course, the Lord of DeFi Light here, and today we are going to be talking about this app on Cosmos Network called Emirates, which is currently on beta. So everything you will be seeing here today is not the finalized version. There's going to be more coins supported. There's going to be likely some changes to their interface, and also they're going to be launching their own coin. And Emirates is basically using the IBC technology, allowing you to do cross-chain transfers. So I can move my uh, Cosmos Atom tokens to another chain like Osmosis or Sentinel or vice versa. So basically the very same technology that Osmosis is using. I did a video about that back in late July or was it June? And Emirates is kind of like following those same stoop footsteps and likely going to be differing a lot more in the future from the Osmosis project. But basically allowing you to swap between these tokens across different chains, which is very useful, um, a way to basically acquire certain tokens very fast without interacting with a centralized exchange. And also I did hear some news that uh, Bitcoin is coming into the uh, Tendermint blockchain. But before we move in, there was a very good video that I found out yesterday by uh, Cryptocito and he did a video about Cosmos airdrops. So basically to very simply break it down, there is going to be a lot of Cosmos based airdrop. Long as you're going to be holding your Atom on your own wallet, likely recommending to stake it as well. And there's going to be a lot more of these airdrops happening later down this year. But for specific specifications, go watch this video. I'm going to link it down in the corner. But let's get back into Emirates. Here's a bit of a screenshot of the actual interface. Uh, transfer between five different chains. Trusted, stable, audited DEX protocol. I don't know where exactly in the website the audit is, but that is a very assuring, however, to have an audit. And also there's liquidity pools. And we are actually believing that people who are, I am believing that people who will be providing liquidity right now to the Emirates might be receiving an airdrop. So you are getting a bit of a, you know, uh, intel here for a possible airdrop that you might be getting. Here is, um, you know, statistics on the average swap fees and transaction fees. Actually, I think you can get a lot lower than 0 0.08 FYI, but this is probably the average for a fast transaction. If you can wait for 15 seconds or something like that, for example, Osmosis allows you to do uh, zero, uh, you know, fee-less transactions, which is really cool. And here are some of the blockchains that are being supported here. We got Sentinel, Akash, personally invested in those. We got Crow, which is crypto chains. Then there's Iris, Osmosis, uh, Regan, which is a lot more newer in the player. And then there is Persistence. And in order to uh, log into the thing, you need Kepler Wallet, which is an extension that I recommend getting. Obviously, for those who are going to be staking their Atom in, and really should move it out, out from the exchanges, uh, Kepler is the one that I recommend. Personally, I have my Atom on Exodus and I imported the private key from Exodus and used that on Kepler. But let's uh, launch uh, to the actual application now and show you kind of how it works and how is everything done on a very simple matter. This is not uh, hard to use at all. So the first thing we're going to be doing, and by the way, it does have a, de a demo account here. So in case you want to uh, try out, let's say we're going to be, oops, we're going to be moving one atom to persistence. Let's see, do we have, and here it says the limit price, the fees uh, in terms of the swap fee and transaction fee. Um, and okay, the demo account doesn't work the way I thought it would be. So connecting Kepler, and now we are you know, basically in. So one of the things that Cosmos uh, Osmosis didn't have is that it didn't have like this display of uh, assets that I currently have, the total balance across all the chains. So because once you have an address, let's say for Cosmos, automatically you will be getting an account from all of these other ones that are basically supported on the ecosystem, kind of like what we have in Ethereum, but in Ethereum, the address always stays the same. But for Cosmos address, there's going to be equivalent in Osmosis. And it's going to be continuing ever and ever again. And you can see the remaining letters are staying the same. I think, okay, here it's different. Or is it? 
Um, yeah, but the, the, the first initial string seems to be the same, but whatever, by having a one account, you basically get all of them. And I'm going to be showing you how the swaps are done. It's pretty simple, guys. Um, uh, also, there are currently pools and you can provide liquidity to these pools. And I believe that there might be some type of rewards happening for people who do that. So I provided, what was did I provide again? Um, it was I Sentinel and Adam. So here I can see uh, like equity that I have provided here, how much that is in Sentinel and how much that is in Adam right now. Obviously there's the thing called impermanent loss. And basically because of that, well, you might lose money in case the prices fluctuate too much between the two assets. So you gotta be, um, you know, knowing what happens. And I do believe you're gonna be watching this video from two months on or something like that. There's gonna be LP rewards for uh, providing liquidity. Uh, right now there's no rewards. So I think they're gonna be launching their own Emery's coin, which allows people to basically get money. So let's go back to the portfolio. Let's say we have some Atom here, but we wanna buy more Akash. Akash is a good project, very interesting. And I'm gonna be buying 0.77 worth of Akash, and that is $16. And I will be getting roughly the same in uh, Akash. Reviewing it, then that shows you how much we're paying and how much we're receiving. Here is the price, limit price, then the transaction fee that I will be paying in Atom and also the swap fee. Confirming and doing the swap, now there will be a pop out here. And what we need to do is simply approve and we wait for that eight seconds or whatever the time is. Uh, and by the way, then on the previous screen, you can adjust the gas fee so you can wait a longer time if you wanna pay less. Uh, this is not Ethereum where you have to wait 30 minutes for it. It's usually like within a minute or so. And now the transaction has gone through and now we have more Akash. Now, because I don't want to have the Akash there just lying around, other option would be going back to Kepler and choosing Akash here and basically start staking it, okay? But I don't want to do that. So what I want to do is I want to go to the pools, choosing Akash and Atom and clicking at liquidity. And because we have more um, Atom, obviously, compared to Akash, so we're going to be choosing the Akash number here, 18.17, uh, roughly. And now we're going to be providing the same amount in Atom. And we're going to be clicking Continue, Confirm and Continue. And this is the LP we're going to be receiving. And now, once again, it asks us to set up the transaction and there is the fee. I think you can, by clicking the override fee, you can change the high or low. So you can significantly lower the transaction cost. And now we're gonna be approving. And after this, we have provided liquidity to the system. And when there might be some rewards given out in the future, uh, based on my current providings, I will be getting some probably. Uh, no guarantees, obviously, because they haven't really exactly said what's going to be happening. But it's highly, you know, confirmed as of right now that there's going to be a, some type of an airdrop happening uh, for people in the Cosmos ecosystem. Not just one, but roughly around 10 different ones. And we obviously had the Osmosis, which was worth for thousands uh, for some people like me. So uh, definitely something I recommend providing and participating on. Uh, in case you're interested. And we can actually refresh the page. I think this is gonna be taking a couple of seconds, but I'm so impatient, obviously. So I'm gonna be clicking this, and we're gonna be clicking refresh. And then we are gonna be going back to the uh, portal page for the liquidities, and we can see uh, what I have provided there. And here you can see your share, and what we have here in Sentinel Atom, and what we have in Akash Atom. And if I want to remove all of that money out, I can do that, uh, clicking just max and continuing. And that's how it removes the liquidity uh, from the pool. But for now, I'm gonna be keeping it there uh, before we at least get some uh, liquidity rewards and stuff going on. So that's how you provide liquidity uh, to the assets. And that's how you basically use the platform. Right now, I don't remember there being an actual night mode on the platform. 
Yeah, no, that would be something I would like to see in the future. Maybe I'm just blind and not seeing it right now. And here I can now see my LP tokens here, what they are worth, and also have my assets here as well. And there's already like millions in the pool provided, so people are pretty bullish on this. But hey, our Cosmos ecosystem is growing more day by day, and they are, you know, they kind of be a bit slow, but there's a lot of exciting stuff coming out in the end of the year including smart contracts and that's when things are going to be get re getting really interesting on this ecosystem and that's where we're going to be seeing will it be able to fight with the big dogs but thanks for watching guys i will be seeing you on the next video in case you want to contact me for uh, business inquiries for project reviews and send me an email at lightliger at protonmail.com if you want to support my work you can also drop me uh, some tokens uh, or NFTs or, you know, tips in whatever currents, I mean, in uh, Cosmos. Thanks for watching. See you soon.